Hello, everybody. Welcome to a brand new week on House of Games. I'm Richard Osman. Thank you so much for coming back. It's much appreciated. Now, I'm joined by four brand new contestants all week. They're going to be battling it out over a series of rounds. And one of them on Friday is going to win this extraordinary trophy. And I use the word extraordinary advisedly. Who is playing this week? Let's find out. We have Jay Blades, <laughs> Rachel Paris, <laughs> Sean Keaveney. And Jan Ravens. Oh, welcome, welcome, everybody. Thank you. How Thank lovely you. to have you here. Right at the start of this series, Jay, I said, you've got to get me Jay Blades because I'm the world's biggest repair shop fan. Oh, come on. It's the best show on Teddy. Have you watched the repair shop? Yeah, of course you've yeah. watched the repair shop. Listen, we'll do this show in a minute. We'll <laughs> talk about it for a bit. It's the best show on... Anyway, Jay, we'll talk about it during the week. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Now, this show, are you competitive? No, I'm not competitive at all. Oh, but, I've heard that before, though. And this is my first game show. I haven't done a game show before. No way. No. Maybe, let's see if you see it last. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Jay, so lovely to have you here. Thank Rachel you. Paris. Hello. How nice to have you here as well. It's so nice to be here in, in your plush living room. It's <laughs> nice, right? Yeah, it's, it's real it's nice. nice. It's lovely to have you here. Now, Rachel, we're going to play a whole series of different quizzes every time I press this buzzer. Yes. Uh, have you got good general knowledge? Yeah, I've got I've got quite good general knowledge. But no one I, ever says that. But I am very I am as I was saying to Sean earlier, I'm very slow. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect for a game <laughs> mainly played on the buzzers. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a good week, isn't it? <laughs> Sean Keaveney, welcome along. Thanks sir. for having us, mate. It's an absolute pleasure. You'll be brilliant at the music rounds. We know that. No, but listen, one of you is going to win this prize at mm. the end of the week. This yeah. lovely trophy, right? It's quite something. It's going to be Jan. <laughs> We think, 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 think we know. Yeah. We, we think it's going to be Thank you so much for joining us on How to Games. We will see you next week. Uh, but at the end of each daily show, you also get to win a prize. Each daily winner wins a prize. Should we take a look at today's yes. Oh, yes, prizes? Please. Okay, here's what you can walk home with. Oh, wow! We have got. There's the House of Games fondue set that everyone chooses. It's a really good fondue set, Jay. Okay. Uh, House of Games golf umbrella. There's the sunglasses. Everyone's wearing them. Yeah. Uh, the electric toothbrush. Uh, and new for this wow. series, House of Games roller boots. <gasps> That's oh, good. my Lord. Jan Ravens, welcome. What would you go for, do you think, if you were to win? Well, I would go for the electric toothbrush. Oh, would you? Uh, yeah. That's yeah, I'm very, very, I'm very into dental hygiene. Very... <laughs> well, listen, we get to know so much about our players, <laughs> don't we? Um, shall we yeah. move straight along? Yeah, yeah. Let's play our yeah. first game? Yeah, yeah go, go on. Every time I press this buzzer, something new comes up. You don't know what it's going to be. I don't know what it's going to be. Let's find out on Monday's House of Games. First round is... Rhyme time. Nice, easy one to start with. I'm going to ask you two questions at a time. The answers rhyme with each other. Simple. Buzz in as soon as you can get both answers to this. Good luck, everybody. What Diego Maradona claims helped him score against England at the 1986 World Cup? And fictional villain, the demon barber of Fleet Street. That is Jan. Uh, hand of God, Sweeney Todd. Oh. Is it the Hand of God, Sweeney Todd? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Here's your next question. Horse featured in Anna Sewell novel. And land tax applied when buying a house. <laughs> yes, Jan. <laughs> uh, Black Beauty stamp duty. Oh, oh, Black God. Beauty stamp, stamp yeah. duty is the right answer. Well done. Well done. <laughs> uh, here's your next question. What are they? And who is this? Yes, Sean. Gnomes, Eamon Holmes. Garden Gnomes, Eamon Holmes. Well done, Sean. <laughs> Garden Gnomes. Garden Gnomes. Here's your next one. 1995 animated film about Woody and Buzz. And Italian champion jockey. Yes, Sean. Yes. Toy Story, Frankie de Tori. Toy Story, Frankie de Tori. Is right. Well done. <laughs> Here's your next question. Who is this and what is this song? <laughs> Rachel Paris, welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> Michael Sheen, Dancing Queen. It's not, I'm afraid. <laughs> Jan. I'm sorry, it's oh. Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen! Yeah, oh. Martin Sheen and Dancing Queen. <laughs> Here's your next question. Pastry dessert, often made with Bramley's, and body scanner that uses intense magnetic fields. Yes, Jan. Uh, apple pie MRI. Well, is it <laughs> apple pie and MRI? <laughs> it is. Here's your next question. Drama in which Olivia Coleman took over from Claire Foy 
and The Stranglers' highest charting hit. The DJ comes in. The Crown Golden Brown. The Crown Golden Brown is the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Your final question in this round. Fingers on buzzers, everyone. Who is this? And what is this? Yes, oh. Sean. Duke Ellington, Beef Wellington. Is it Duke Ellington, Beef Wellington? <laughs> I've never, I mean... That is... <laughs> Shall we take a look at the scores? No. At the end of our <laughs> no. first round. OK. Let's take a look at where we are. Jay and Rachel, yet to get off the mark. And we have joint leaders, Sean and Jan, with four points each. <laughs> round two today is going to be... <laughs> ..distinctly average. Now, the person in last place gets to choose a partner. Jay and Rachel, you're both in last place. Who would like to choose a partner? Ladies first. Rachel, you can choose to play this with anybody you wish. Um, I'll play it with Jay, please. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That yeah. is yeah. That's <laughs> nice, right. isn't it? Yeah. So, tablets out, please. Right. I'm going to ask you all a question. We're going to take the average of the answers in your pair, OK? Right. OK. Whichever pair's average is closer to the real answer wins the point. Obviously, no conferring, so we have to take your average. OK. Right. Here's what we're looking for. According to the European Broadcasting Union, how many viewers watched the oh 2018 God. Eurovision Song Contest. Oh How many God. viewers watched the 2018 Eurovision Song Contest? Um, oh, wow. It's, it's much more popular outside the UK, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's tricky, this one. Has everyone written down an answer? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Everyone locked in? Yeah. Jay, how many people do you think watched that Eurovision Song Contest? I think... About 25 million. 25 million, says Jay. Yeah. Rachel, have you gone up from that or down from I've that? I've gone down. Gone down. I've gone just 8 million. 8 million, that is interesting. So your average is 16 and a half million? At least we've both got the word million in it. Yeah. You have, exactly. Yeah, you're, you're in the same... <laughs> in the same you've got the same amount of yeah. zeros. Sean, you look like you've maybe gone a lot higher or a lot lower. I've gone for 900 million. 900 wow. million. Very high. So you've just gone 892 million above Rachel's. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. 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 <laughs> Called it quite strong, haven't I? Uh, yeah. Jan, you wow. dragging him down or taking him up? 30 million. 30 million. million. Don't know Let's what's take fair. a look at your average. 465 <laughs> million. That's quite a big difference. We have Let's see where this goes. What's called in the business a difference of opinion <laughs> in the studio. Uh, where are you? We've got 60 and a half million, say Jay and Rachel. 465 million. <laughs> half a billion, essentially. Yes. Say uh, Sean and Jan. How many people watched the song contest? Who's won the point? 186 oh. million. Yeah. So, oh, I fun. mean. That's a lot. I mean, you're 170 million out, but you still yeah. got the point. <laughs> Here is your next one. Let's take a look. Write down an answer for this, please. According to Guinness World Records, how tall was the world's tallest ever snowman in inches? Oh, this is... This is, yeah, this this is really oh, oh what well. do you reckon at home? World's tallest ever snowman in inches. Um... Hmm. Everyone got an answer? Yeah. You got an answer at home. It's a tough one here. Tough to know what to base it on. Sean, how tall was the world's tallest ever snowman in inches? <laughs> the silliest question I've ever been asked. <laughs> um, I think 260... I don't even know what that is. 260 inches. 120 inches would be 10 feet. So that's so about, it's about 20, 20, 22 feet. 22 feet, something, feet, something like that. Okay. So 260 inches, says Sean. Uh, Jan, what do you think? 600. <laughs> Oh, and, that's, out. and you've got photographic evidence there. I have. Of the, I've uh, shown my work. Yeah, you've shown it. Lovely. <laughs> 600 <laughs> inches. 50 feet or something? Yeah. Yeah. No. That doesn't sound insane, does it? No. Uh, so let's have a look at your average. 430 inches, say Sean and Jan. It's about 35 foot high. That, that doesn't that sound inch. crazy. Yeah. Jay, Jay, are you anywhere uh, um, near that? I've kind of gone rogue and I've gone, uh -oh. gone to feet. Um, <laughs> oh, good. So, 30, 30 foot feet and six inches. Oh. 30 feet and six inches. Yeah. Okay, it's all important that six inches. It is, sometimes. it is quite important. 366 <laughs> inches, that is, uh, says Jay. Okay. And Rachel, have you gone massive? I've gone 500 inches. 500 so a bit bigger. 500 inches, a little bit bigger. Let's take a look at your average. It's going to be quite a close average, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, look it's... at this. I mean, I've never, <laughs> wow. in the history of the show, I've never seen two <laughs> answers so close. They've both gone round about 35 feet. What do you think at home? What have you gone for? 
Shall we take a look? Yeah. See how tall Can't that wait. snowman was and who's won the point. Yeah. How many inches? One thousand four hundred and sixty-five <laughs> inches. Wow. That is 122 feet. Wow. That's 18 and a half times me, essentially. Wow. And that's, listen, one times me is quite enough. Yeah. 18 and a half times. Right, last one in this round. How many words are there in the King James Bible? Oh my How many gosh. words are there in the King James Bible? Oh, that's OK. How many words are there in the King James Bible? What do you reckon at home? It does feel like you should sort of be able to work it out, but I can't, I don't really know how I would do that. Yeah. I've made my choice. I'm sticking with it. Rachel, we'll start with you. How many words? Well, I've are there? just been going through all my favourite passages, and <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've tried to do some maths, and I think it's about two point five million. Two point five million, oh. says Rachel. That sounds relatively like possible to me. Mm. But, I mean, what do I know? Well, Jay, have you gone up or down? If that sounds possible, okay. I've, I've gone completely overboard. I've got one hundred and forty million. One hundred and forty million. Yeah. That sounds like too many. To me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's a lot of words. <laughs> that is a lot of but words. It's a big book. It is a big book. But, um, big... but hopefully, we'll do our classic thing of, of going high and winning by default. Exactly yeah, that. We exactly might do that. We Can might you do. win by default once again? <laughs> Jay and Rachel, here's your average 71,250,000. Sort of like half a Eurovision audience. <laughs> uh, so are there 71 million words in the King James Bible? Uh, Jan, do you think there are? Well, I've gone a bit berserk uh -oh. here. <laughs> more I, I, more berserk than 140 excited. million. <laughs> <laughs> I've put four billion. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, think... God. I thought I went bad. Janice, like, wow. are you <laughs> throwing this? Like, <laughs> no. I only mean, like, one copy of it, not all of them <laughs> put together. But it's, it's a lot, a lot of words, and they're such tiny words. I mean, the print's so tiny. But yeah, four billion... Tiny. Four billion is, like, That's so lot. many words. <laughs> Sean, I am going to ask you one simple question before you show us your answer. Have you gone higher than Jane? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Eurovision all over again. Huh? I've got, I think I've come up with a sensible number, actually, but it doesn't make any difference now. I've <laughs> <laughs> uh, completely thrown this round. So Sean has come up with... Uh, Nine, 961,242. If you get it bang on, Do I'll get give it? you an extra point. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so your average <laughs> is... Uh, I mean, it's somewhere around two billion, isn't it? Yeah. I think. Oh, my God. Yeah, your average is 2,480,621. Again, bang on, you get an extra point. Let's take a look. How many <laughs> words are there in the King James Bible and who has got themselves a point? What? 783,000. <laughs> look at Sean's answer. <laughs> yeah, that was, I mean, that was close. Yeah. How about this? <laughs> This is really I know, this is quite cool. Than I thought. This is Again, really cool. So you were 139 really million out. I know. And you still get a point. Yes. Uh, yeah. Word around there for Jay and Rachel. Tablets away, please. That's yep. the end of that round. Let's take a look at Thank the scores. You. Sean oh, and Jan still with four points, but Rachel and Jay, three points yeah. while playing. Yeah. Super close between yeah. everybody. <laughs> round three today on Monday's House of Games is. Broken karaoke, you know how this works. We have a karaoke machine, it is broken. We're going to show you uh, the lyrics to some songs, but we're only going to show you the first letters of those lyrics, OK? They'll come up in time to the, the music. Tell us, please, the names of the songs you're about to see. Fingers on buzzers, everybody. Here's your first song. Your first song is from 1975. What is this song, please? Yes, Rachel. Bye bye, baby. Baby, goodbye. Bye bye, baby. Bear City Rollers. Really good. Yeah, really good. I'm not going to get this. I can't get it. Very nice. Here's your next one, and it is from 1996. What's this song? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, Rachel. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really oh. want. So tell me what you want. Wannabe. Correct. <laughs> oh, so, let's have a little listen. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. That, that ZA, ZA was yeah. heavy lifting there, wasn't it? <laughs> really heavy lifting. Uh, well done if you got that at home. Very good. I love it when it came up so quick. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's too much for me. <laughs> uh, here's your next song. And it is from the year 2008. What's this song? Oh. 
And this is the title. Oh. Yes. That's Rachel. not my name. Is oh, it? That's well not done. my name. Yes. Ting Tings. They call me help. Yeah. Amazing. I can't do this. <laughs> That's not my name. That's not my name. That's not my name. I love this. That's not my name. Beautiful. Oh, well done. Name. Well done. Oh, smashing it. Here's your next song. <laughs> it is from 1981. Song from 1981 here. What is this song? <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Oh, it's in there. Don't You Want Me Baby by the Human League. Shall we have a little listen? Well played. Yeah. Super quick. Yeah. Wow. Finally. That was the only one I knew. Oh, well played. Don't You Want Me by Human League. That was the last one in that round. Good oh. round for Rachel there. Rachel um, smashing it. I'm so surprised. <laughs> so, uh, let's take a look at the scores after three rounds of Monday's House of Games. I think we've got ourselves a new leader. We have indeed. Wow. Yeah, you have three. Jan, you have four. Sean, you have five. Our leader, Rachel Paris, six points. Yeah. Well done. Two rounds to go. Can you keep that lead? Round four today is going to be... The Rich List. The Rich List. Now, this is a round where I get to play as well, which is fun. On this round, I'm going to give you all a category. You need to give me a correct answer in that category. You're going to write it down in your tablets. Oh. But at the same time, I will also be writing down an answer in that category. If you want a point, you've got to get a right answer, but also unique. OK? OK. OK. Here's your first category. I need a correct answer for this, please. Uh, actors who appeared in Friends who have also been nominated for an Oscar. Actors who appeared in Friends who've also been nominated for an Oscar. I ask it slowly because then I've got some thinking time. Huh. Wow. OK. So anyone who's been in one or more episodes <sighs> of Friends? I can't think of any. Oh, I got one. Oh, come on. Yeah. It's What's he? In? It's all or nothing. This one, isn't it? Yeah. You could yeah. either be. A, it's, it's got so glory. This. Has everyone got one. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I've got one as well. Jay, who have you gone for? I don't know if he's been in it. Now I've just been sitting here debating whether he's been in it. But Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. Is that a right answer? <laughs> it is a right answer. Well done. Been friend and nominated for an Oscar. If no one else says that, put yourself a point. Rachel, who have you said? <laughs> Brad Pitt. So there we go. Well, it's a correct answer. Same wavelength Neither, but now no. serving yeah. against us. What a team. What a team. Yeah. Sean, have you gone for Brad Pitt? I haven't, and I don't know if this is right. I've gone for Elliot Gould. That's who I was thinking of. Because he was in MASH, wasn't he? he didn't he play... Oh. Here's the right answer. Wow. Very well done. Oscar nominated. So if no one else yes. has uh, said Elliot Gould, you get yourself a point. Jan, who have you said? Kathleen Turner. Mm. Kathleen Turner. Says Jan. Is that a correct answer? Yeah! Well done. So, currently, you both get a point, unless I have said <sighs> Kathleen Turner or Elliot Gould. Well, I'll tell you now, I have written down something that someone else has written down. Oh. You're looking at me. The good news is, I wrote down Brad Pitt. <laughs> so, there we go. You both get yourself a point. Very well done. Really good Elliot Let's see a few other answers you could have got. Uh, if you got one of these at home, you'd have won yourself a point. God, it's more than you Whoa. think. Alec wow. Baldwin, Bob Balaban. Oh, God, yeah, uh, Gary Oldman. Brenda oh, Vaccaro, Chopin Heston, Danny DeVito, Fisher Stevens, Gary Oldman. And more. George Clooney, <laughs> Greg Kinnear, Helen Hunt, Jeff Goldblum, Jim Rash, Greg Julia Kinnear, Roberts, yeah, Larry Hankin, Mike McKean. Yeah, Julia oh. Roberts. I don't remember There's that. More. Yeah, more. Peter Spears, Reese Witherspoon, Sarah, Robin Williams, Sean Penn, Susan Sarandon, Terry Garr, Tom Conti, Winona Ryder. Right, here's your next question. Write down an answer to this, please. European currencies that were replaced by the euro. OK. Ooh, oh, any God. European currencies that were replaced by the euro? Replaced by the euros. Uh, we'll start with you, Rachel. <laughs> what have you gone for? Greek drachma? Greek oh, yeah. drachma. The drachma. Is that a correct answer? It is. Good Very well done. Point. Sean, what have you gone for? Deutschmark. Deutschmark. Obvious. Is it right? Of course it is. Germany. Jan, what have you gone for? I've gone for hmm? escudos, hmm. Ooh, ah. which I think are Portuguese, but I may have made it up. <laughs> Let's find out. Is it correct answer? 
Oh, it is. Well wow. done. That's a point for everyone at the moment. Yeah. Jay, are you going to spoil someone's day? I think I'm going to spoil oh, someone's no. day. Um, Turkish lira. Oh, Turkish lira. I yeah. believe. Yeah. Okay. Was that replaced by the euro? Oh. Yay! Oh. Good news. The good news is the Italian lira is the one that was changed, but we didn't need the country, so lira. Okay. Oh, lira is oh, all right. Oh, thank you for looking after me. Yeah. Absolute <laughs> pleasure. Um, so a point to everybody there, unless I have oh. written down the same as one of you. Come mm. on, Richard. And I have. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Uh. Okay. And the answer I have written down is this is hot. I hate doing this. Yeah. Uh, oh no. I just thought it was a good obscure one. I know. Oh, well, it's a good answer, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Mm. But sadly, not, as it turns out. Oh, <laughs> so, point to everyone. Jan, us. I'm afraid you're going to get a point. So sorry. Oh. Should we take a look at the other answers we yeah. could have given? Yeah. You could have had Drachma, Escudo, Frank, Gilda, Corona, Croon, Lats, Lira. Uh, there's a few more. Litas, Mark, Marker, Peseta, of course, Pound, Shilling, and Tolar. Here's your next category. Beatles chart oh. hits with okay. love in okay. the title. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's any one of the Beatles' top 50 best-selling hits, according to the official charts company, that has the word love in the title. That includes, so love, loving, loved, they okay. all count here. Okay. Derivations. Derivations of love. love. Derivations of love, which is the title of my autobiography. <laughs> Uh, Sean, we will start with you. You're the big music expert here. Have you gone obscure? I've, well, I've gone for Real Love, oh, which was yeah. their sort of the hit that they had after the mid 90s, didn't they? Good. <laughs> Whoa, very good. That's super obscure. That is super obscure and brilliant. Is that the right answer? We're going to assume it is because it's Sean. Yes. Hey. Well wow, that's really good. Right, right, that was one they found a few old yeah. recordings, yeah. didn't they? And that was scraped uh, it together. Uh, Jan, what have you said? I've gone for P.S. I love you. Ah. P.S. I love you, says Jan. Nice. Is that the correct answer? It is not, what? I'm chart afraid. Here. Oh, well. Jay, what have you gone for? Um, hopefully this is... I'm not a Beatles fan, but um, Love Me Do. Love Me Do. I know, I know. <laughs> it's criminal, isn't it? <laughs> uh, is, look, I, th I think we can safely assume this is going to get a ping. Love Me Do. Well done. Okay. Rachel, are you going to spoil anyone's day? Not yet. Excellent. Um, all My Lovin'. All My Lovin'. Yes. Is that correct? Well done. So we have Love and Do, we have All My Love and we have Real Love. You all get a point there, except one of you doesn't get a point. There we go. Because I wrote something. What I was trying to do originally, yeah. just to excuse myself, I was trying to get in Sean's head. <laughs> okay. um, and that's why I wrote Real Love. I did get into it. Oh! What has he well, done? What? How did you do I can't believe that. I just thought that's the obscure one with love in yeah. the title. Yeah. I don't, oh. Sorry, I shouldn't do that. I, d I targeted you just because <laughs> out of sport. <laughs> <laughs> you know I, what? I admire that, though. I feel mean for doing it. No, no. But he it's, did um, wow. the Escudo. He did. Yeah. Yes, yeah. he did. Uh, let's take a look at other answers you could have given, other answers that would have given you a point. Well done if you said any of these at home. No one else said oh, them. Oh, so many. You could have had, and I love her, all my loving, all you need is love, can't buy me love, love me do, real love, we've heard that, she loves you, you've got to hide your love away, uh, all of those in the 50 bestseller list. Let's take a look at the score, shall we? There's one round to go, one round to go on Monday's House Games, we're about to find our first champion of the week, who is it going to be? Let's take a look at where we are with that final round still ahead of us. Oh my God. Jan and Jay, you have five points, Sean, you have seven, Rachel, Rachel. sit in the wow. lead, eight points. Let's play our final round. You know what it is, it's always the same, and it is... Answer smash. You know how it works? Show your picture, show your clue underneath, smash the answers together. Buzz in, give me a correct answer, you get a point. Buzz in, give me an incorrect answer, you lose a point. Ooh. Fingers on buzzers, please. Your first category... BAFTA winners. So you see, pictures of BAFTA winners. There'll be a clue underneath. What are the answers, please? Here's your first one. What term is used to describe someone who is unable to hear the difference between musical notes? Yes, Sean. Emma Stone deaf. Emma Stone, tone deaf. Emma Stone deaf. Well Yay. done. <laughs> Nicely played. You get that one at home. Emma Stone deaf. Here's your next BAFTA wow. winner and your next clue. What is the most popular city in Canada? Yes, Sean. Benicio del Toronto. Benicio del Toronto is right. Benicio del Toronto. <laughs> Toronto. 
Here's your next BAFTA winner. Which ABBA song topped the singles charts in May 1976? Yes, Jan. Michelle Fifernando. Oh, oh, Michelle Fifernando. <laughs> yeah. Beautifully done. Yeah, yeah. Yes, well played. Yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer <laughs> and Fernando smash them together. That's what you get. Here's your next category. Road crossings. What? Right, oh that's your, those will be the pictures. Smash the answers together with the clues as well and see what you get. Tommy and Bobby are the first names of which British comedy duo? Yes, Jan. Pelly Cannon and Ball. <laughs> Well, Pelican and the ball. Well done. Pelican and the ball. Pelican and the ball. Here's your next crossing and your next clue. What was the nationality of racing driver Edmund Senna? Yes, Sean. Bra Zeb Brazilian? Zeb Brazilian. I'll give you that. Well played. Zebra and Brazilian. I'm trying to work out what another <laughs> crossing could be, but we'll find out. Here's your next crossing. <laughs> What is the title of the 2000 UK number one single by Bob the Builder? Yes, Jan. Pelican, can we fix it? I don't think it can be Pelican, no. and it is not, I'm afraid. I'm so sorry. Anyone else want to have a go? Shall we have a look at the answer? Two can we fix oh, it? That's a no, two can crossing. Oh, I'm unfamiliar with that. I'm unfamiliar with that. Let's take a look at your next category. Dancers. Which major bridge over the River Avon was designed by Isambard Kingdom Brunel? <sighs> yes, Jan. Kevin Clifton Bridge. I think we can give you that. It's <laughs> Kevin Clifton Suspension Bridge. Oh. That's the answer we were looking for. That's what it's called, Kevin Clifton Suspension Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> and... As so often when you mention Kevin Clifton Suspension Bridge, a buzzer <laughs> goes off. That is the end of Monday's show. Wow. Oh, my goodness. We're about to find our Monday oh. champion. Right. Who is it going to be? Been very close all the way through. We've had different leaders all the way through as well. Let's find out who's won Monday's House of Games. <gasps> Sean oh, Keaveney has won wow. Monday's House of Games. Congratulations, Sean. Oh, very well played. Can't Ten be. points there. Wow. Sean, you get to choose a prize. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, how about that? What do you fancy? It, it, it can only be the fondue set, can't oh, it? Oh, beautiful. Sean takes home the House of Games fondue set. Uh, so that's the end of Monday's show. Let's take a look at the points you take through to tomorrow. Jay, you're taking one point through. Jan, two. Rachel, three. Sean, four. Very, very early days. That's Monday done, but I will see you here tomorrow. Same right. time, same place. We'll see you here as well tomorrow. Same time, same place on the House of Games. come true. <laughs> <laughs>